What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an update on my 3D walking t-shirt mockup. I'm going to be bundling this mockup with a walking cycle, a t-shirt on a hanger and a static 360. I'm going to be giving away the static t-shirt mockup for free. All you have to do is go to my Instagram, comment the word free on any of my videos and I'll send you a DM with a link. If you're looking for more than just a 360 static pose and you want a walking cycle or hanger, it is available on my store for $5. Um, it includes all the OBJs, project files, substance painter files, you name it, and it's fully customizable. You will be required to use blender as well as photoshop or photo p to make sure you download those before once you have downloaded the files and unzip them your file should look something like this now it does look like a lot but all you have to do is click on the, the blender file so let's open that up and you should be presented with a screen that looks like this so just to go everything your left side is your preview and then in the center here is either your shader preview or you can go into your 3d viewport and see from a different angle so on the left side i'm going to enable my viewport shading so if you do have the free version Version. this is what you're going to be getting for free is this 360 rotation here which you can update as per this video so getting into the bundle we have the 360 static rotation here which is our t-shirt a pose layer so if we just hide this that will go away then we will see our t-shirt frame one so this is just a single frame of the walking animation then we have t-shirt walking cycle which is a full walk cycle of the animation then we have our hanger so if you reveal this hanger layer, you'll see our camera has now got a hanger on it, which rotates at 360 degrees. So now you might want to change up your camera. So we're going to go into our studio layer over here and you'll see there's a variety of different camera angles. To enable this, you can just reveal them all like so. And we can go into our camera 50 millimeter and we're going to go view camera set active camera and you'll see a new angle. Now we can also change this out. I'm gonna to go to the 40 millimeter hanger because this one fits the whole hanger really nicely. Do the same thing, set active camera, and there is the entire look. Maybe we don't wanna use the, the hanger and we wanna use a 75 millimeter. So let's go to our camera C, 75 millimeter. And you'll see we have a different angle there which looks really nice. I'm gonna to go to our camera A and go view set active camera so we can get that front view and i'm actually going to hide the backdrop so let's go into our hanger we're going to go into railing and we're going to hide backdrop for railing just like that and now we have a transparent background and we're going to enable our backlight one which is going to create this nice little rim around the side just to make it a little bit better and then we can either activate this backdrop there are two backdrops in the layers or you can enable the backdrop for the previous one so it's totally up to you i am going to use the second one we're going to go to our backdrop make sure we're in our material preview and we can change the color here so i'm just going to change this to black or maybe i want a different color and that's how we can change the backdrop to change the design you want to make sure you've selected the garment we're going to go up to our shader editor and then you should get a tab that looks like this now we're going to go to our base color this is the only thing you need to change we're going to click on unpack item and we're going to select use file in original location create when necessary once we've selected that the file is essentially unpacked then we're going to go into our t-shirt we're going to go to our textures and here you'll find your t-shirt design we're going to double click on this now this file you can open in photoshop or photo p depending on what you want to use i have access to photoshop it's almost pretty much the same so i'm going to be using that so once you have opened up that we're going to go to our t-shirt color and we're just going to hide the color for now just so we can see the outline of the garment and where we'd like to place our designs so if we reveal our labels you can see we have the neckline left sleeve right sleeve front back now just for an example what i'm going to show you now is we're going to save and then we're going to go back into blender and we're going to click the viewport shader and reveal materials and now you can see we have our left sleeve and our right sleeve the front and then if we rotate this we have the back so it's just showing you where to place the designs so we're going to go back into photoshop we can hide this because we know where we're going to be placing things. And then you can just drag and drop your logos in as if you were designing something. I'm going to be placing these over here. I'm going to use a full layer just to change the color of this. And then I'm going to go down to my t-shirt color and I'm going to activate this. We're going to be clicking on our color and we can change it to whatever color we want. I'm going to be using a dark black. And then I'm also going to be enabling this wash layer. This will just give us a nice wash look. And then I'm actually going to change my logos back to white. From here, we can also adjust the stitching color. We're gonna go to our stitching color 
group and then under colors i'm going to change this to a yellow and press ok and then our design is pretty much good to go so you don't have to use this wash layer you can if you want once that's all been done we're going to save it once again and then we're going to go into blender and we're going to reset our material preview mode and just like that you can see our design has been updated now i'm going to hide the backdrop and bring in previous white backdrop now i don't like the yellow stitching so i'm going to change it to white so let's go back to our color and set it to white and hit save and then we can reset this and we should be good to go now once you have updated your design it'll be updated across all of the garments if we hide our hanger and reveal our a pose you'll see that our a pose has been updated if we go to our walking cycle our walking cycle has also been updated once we're ready to render we're going to go to our render settings now depending on if you have a gpu or cpu if you have both you want to click on gpu compute uh, then in render depending on the specs of your computer um, you can set this anywhere from 100 to whatever you want um, but the higher the number goes the long it will take i'd suggest if you're using a low end pc something around 300 and set your noise threshold to 0.1 then we're going to go to our output settings now maybe you want it in 1080 by 1080 so you can change this or maybe you want it in 1080 by 1920 you can change that get the different aspect ratios and then for your output you can just click on this little file on the right and then you can set it to wherever you want. So I'm going to be setting it to my desktop. I'm going to call this renders and then rename this to render test underscore press accept. Now, if you don't have editing software, I'd suggest setting it to FFmpeg video. Click on that. And then by this encoding drop down here, you want to go to your presets and say H264 and MP4. This will export the render as a video. But if it does crash, you'll have to start the render again. If you don't have editing software, this is the best way to go. But if you do, I would highly suggest doing file format PNG. And then you're going to go render image. And this is going to give you a PNG image, a single frame, or to render an animation, you can go render animation and I'll start rendering frame by frame. Now I do have a high-end PC, so this is why it's taking less than a second to render each frame. Um, but while it is rendering, you'll see when you go to the renders tab that there's a bunch of frames. Um, these frames you can then import as a sequence into your editing software and it will create a video for you like so. If this video was helpful, Please make sure to drop a like, comment, and sub, and if you need help with any of my products or help in general with digital fashion, make sure to join my Discord. Links are below. Thanks so much for the support. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.